Hello and welcome to another episode of VPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. And I'm Chris Costa. So Chris, what would you like to talk about today? Well, why don't we talk about um, tracking postage and data collection and can we invoice? Great. Will that show up right on the invoice? Sure, that's a great topic. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple things you need to know ahead of time. Um, it will show up in the AR invoice, as you asked, um, okay. but only on the AR invoice, not in invoicing. Okay. And there is a couple things that you need to set up. You need to set up an employee that's an elapsed time only employee, and you mm -hmm. need to set up a process for data collecting postage. Okay. Okay. All right, if we can look at an example, that'd be great. Sure. So I'm going to open up Enterprise. And let's start first looking at the setup. So I'm going to go into File Maintenance. And I'm going to go into Employees. And you can see at the top here, I have an employee called Postage. So I'm going to edit that. And all you really need to do is, is you, have, you need a code, you need a, uh, an employee name. You can call it Postage or whatever you want. Make sure that they're marked off as a shop floor employee. And then under the shop floor information tab, make sure that they're set up as elapsed time. The other thing you need to set up is under Cost Centers Miscellaneous. In one of your miscellaneous uh, cost centers, you'll need a process for data collecting postage. So I have one here that I'm going to modify. And again, all you need is a process code and a description, call it whatever you want, but you'll, you'll need to make sure that this option is checked to use postage to track data, uh, or use the process to track mm -hmm. postage and data collections. Okay. Okay. Um, can we look at recording and entry and data collection? Sure. Okay. So let's take a look. I'm going to cancel out of here and we'll go right into data collections. So once in data collections, of course, in, in job costing, you'll have to add that process to a department. Um, we have it here in the bindery department. You could have put it in its own department if you want. But here's my postage employee. They are, it is an elapsed time employee, so I don't have to clock in and clock out of it. So anybody can, can do this, whoever's responsible for um, collecting the postage, um, can come in here after they finish the work, can click on the production button. Select the particular job the postage is, is against. So I have a job number 447 here that I'm going to collect it against. So I'm going to select my job. I'll click down in the process code and select the postage process. And again, that process will have to be added to their department so it, it's available for them to select. Just like any other entry, you'll say it's regular work. And once I selected that process code for postage, I get a pop-up here of postage cost where I can enter the cost. So say this particular uh, job, the postage was $355.65. You enter it here, and you click OK. And I'm going to say, no, I don't need a material. And I don't need to do another production entry. So now that's against the job. Now when I go into AR and invoice that job, I'm going to go into Job Closeout, find my job, here's my job, I'm going to click on the Invoice button, and I'm going to say no, I'll do it by job, and it creates uh, an entry for the postage that we did in Data Collections of the 355.65. You can see I had done another entry previously for uh, 565. So I've got two against there. So you can do more than one right. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you invoice that by job. I su suspect you could bill it by component too and it will work just as, sure. just as well. Sure. Let's take a look at that. Let me cancel out of here so I won't keep this invoice. And I'm going to hit the invoice button again. And this time I'll say yes. Oh, bear with me. I grabbed the wrong job. Let me click on the job number field and grab my job again. And we'll invoice it again. And this time I'm going to say yes. Okay, so you can see it brought in uh, both postage deposits for each component based mm -hmm. on the component we data collected against. Sure. Yep, no, that's great. Do you have any other questions? No, nope. very good. Thank you. Thanks. And thank you for joining us for another episode of BPMS Tech Talk. I'm Joanne Laflamme. I'm Chris Costa. Please look forward for more to come.